Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today I wanna to go over a quick question that I got from an awesome business owner, Kurt. Now he really wants to up his SEO and do better on Google search for his website and he wants to get better at SEO, but him and his team have been burned many times by other SEO companies. Now unfortunately, this is very common. A lot of business owners have been burned by SEO companies. Why? Because these companies think that business owners don't know what they're doing. So what they do is they just say that they update the website every week or every month, however much they've hired them for. Well, it's not that easy. There's three or four things that we'll cover today to know what you're looking for and to know why the SEO company is either doing a good job or a bad job. And this is what I told Kurt. Yeah, there's plenty of SEO companies, but you need someone that's different. You need somebody that's consistently out there making you fresh content and making you stick out in front of the search engines. So let's jump in. I wanna go into step number one. So tip number one is you need to find the best keywords. You've probably heard this before, but if you do it wrong, you may show up for the wrong keywords, which will penalize you. So you wanna research what your customers are typing into Google. Not what you offer, not what you think these people will be searching for, but you need to actually see what they're typing in. It may be one word, it may be two or three or four words that they're actually typing in. As an example, a business we work with is a physical therapy. Now people aren't just typing physical therapy, they're typing physical therapy in city and state. Now this company is number one, two, and three because they're ranking for those four words together. Now if there was only one or two searches a month, it would not benefit them at all. If only one or two people are actually searching those keywords into Google, it's not gonna benefit them. But they have over 480 searches a month that people are actually typing in. So you wanna take uh, the volume, how many, times and how many people are actually typing that in. So if it's really low, then you're not gonna wanna try to rank for that because not enough people are actually searching for it. If it's really high, it's gonna be pretty competitive. So you wanna kinda of find a medium balance. I wanna find 480 people that every month searching for this. And then I wanna be the exact business that shows up. So do your research, show up for the right keywords. And this is a, something that a company should be doing for you. If you're gonna hire someone to do SEO, they need to do this research for you and they need to figure out what those keywords are that your customers are searching. A lot of times a business owner thinks it's something else and they just assume it so they start building the site and doing the SEO around it when in fact you need to do the research and show up for what the customer wants, not what the business wants. Um, also, you wanna make sure that all the content is relevant because if you're showing up for irrelevant content and you'll see this in the quick tips on this page, um, you could get penalized. So if this is another thing, another business we work with, they have thousands of people coming to their site that are looking for something different. So they see, oh wait, I'm not in the right place, and they exit out right away. So if people are showing up on your site, that's always a good thing. But if they show up to your site and realize right away your site isn't gonna help them and they leave, Google will penalize you for having irrelevant content. So you need to go and fix that. So in the, with this company we're working with, we're getting rid of those keywords so they don't have the irrelevant content. We're actually making a new site and linking it for those people that are searching for that because we see how high they're already ranked for that. Tip number two, you only need to do SEO on your pages once unless you're going and updating it and making it better. Now this is something that really a lot of SEO companies, this is all they do. They go into all your pages, they update the keywords, they upgrade, update the title, and that's it. Doesn't do anything for your website. And this is where you'll get burned because unless you're updating it with new content, making it better, Google doesn't care. They already know that website's there, they already know that page is there, so they don't really care that you're going in and changing some things around. They do care though, if you already have all these pages and blogs, if you go in and make them better. So the goal is, if you have all the pages, all the keywords, you need to go in and make add, add on to them. Fix grammar, go in and add more keywords, add more sections, add a video. You need to go in there and update them with better content, or it really doesn't matter. You don't need to go in and just change things around just to change it. Um, another quick tip on here, same thing. You can also do this in your blogs, your frequently asked questions, and uh, whatever other pages, testimonials, things like that, add more testimonials. Tip number three, you need to start being consistent with new content. So Google wants to see that you're consistently helping and bringing value to the people that are searching on their platform. They wanna make their customers happy. The people that come to Google, they want them to be happy. So if you're making 
content that's not of value and not really helping them and they're leaving right away, they're not going to like that. They're not going to rank you high. But if they see that you're the expert, you're out there posting value, you're making a great experience for their visitors on their platform, they're going to blow you up. They're going to bring you right up in the search engines. So that's why we always recommend posting consistent blogs on your website, uh, making frequently asked questions, uh, adding testimonials. This is things that's going to bring value to people when they're searching. Now you're going to be the expert. So while they're searching, they're seeing that you're bringing value. You're the expert. You're the business that they're going to turn to. Uh, plan on posting something, put it in your schedule. You'll see in the quick tips every week, like the blogs, the FAQ and testimonials, even newsletters. Um, that's another thing Google's looking for. Or you're getting those keywords in there when you're posting the new value. All right, number four, what are your clients actually asking? This is how I was able to grow my fitness business was I would take questions people asked me while I was working with them during the week and then I would make a blog about it. So that's what you can do. And you can make blogs, videos, or even podcasts and it'll start showing up on the Google rankings. So what's common questions your customers are asking? If one customer has that common question, you know multiple people, if not hundreds of people are gonna have the same exact question. So now you're the business owner, you have these questions, people are asking you all week long, use that. So now you are the one showing up, bringing value to the Google searches. They see that and they're gonna stay on your website longer and when they're ready to hire someone, they're gonna to turn to you because you are the one bringing them value. Um, some other things for content, uh, YouTube videos and podcasts, they're ranking them sometimes higher than even your website. So when somebody does a search on Google, you'll see YouTube videos, you'll see their podcasts, and then you'll see their website. So you can do it multiple different ways, whatever's best for you. The goal is just to be consistent, bring value and help them. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, I really hope it did. We provide all of these services with automation links. We write the blogs, we upload them into your site. We do the keywords. The goal is to bring more value on your website consistently. It's really hard for you as the business owner to do this. You're busy running your business. So just like Kurt asked, how can we do it right without being burned? We are the trusted source. We'll make sure we do it right for you. So just let us know on automationlinks.com on our live chat if you have any questions and we'll be more than happy to answer them. So thanks again for uh, watching this episode and listening. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. And of course, reach out if you need any help. Talk to you soon.